Hi again. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can use Google Drawings coupled with Google Keep to then provide digital badges for your students during online learning. So let's go in and let's get started in Google Drawings. Okay, so I'm here in my Google Drive and we're going to start by going into Google Drawings to create our badge template. Now you can see I've already got one created there, but I'm gonna go through this right from phase one. So we're gonna come up to new, and we're gonna come down here, and we're gonna to go to more, and then Google Drawings. And click there, and that's gonna create a Google Drawing template for us, which has the alpha background, the transparent background built in, okay? So we've got the ability now to design anything we want to. And we can use insert, and we can bring in shapes from other places. So we're going to look at a shape first of all. We're going to see what shapes are available. And I want something that's vaguely sort of shield or badge shaped. Um, so we've got that one there that we could pick up and turn around. So let's let's go with that. And I'm just going to drag it. And we can see at the moment it's the wrong way around. So we can move it and rotate it around 90 degrees. There we go. And that can be the basis for my digital badge. And then I'm just going to adjust that template um, canvas just to move in with it there. Okay, so that's the first stage. And what I might want within this is some different sections. So the first thing I'm going to do is to make um, the center transparent, and I'm going to make the border um, a lot larger, and I'm going to give it um, a kind of goldish color edge to it. Okay, now I could use a, a custom edge there, but uh, I'm just going to stick with that basic gold color. Now I wanna put in the body of my badge. So again, I'm gonna come back to shapes and this time I'm gonna add in a square and I'm just gonna go across the top here. I'm just gonna make sure that it's um, big enough to cover the whole canvas. It doesn't matter if we go over the edge because what we're gonna do afterwards is send that away. Now at the moment I've got this black outline around it and I don't want that. So I'm gonna to go to the outline tool and I'm gonna click transparent. I'm going to choose a color for this one. I think I'd like it to be sort of a, a, a dark greenish color. And I'm going to send it behind to the back there. Okay, so now it's, it's tucked underneath the other badge. I'm going to then use a second shape, which in this case, I'm going to scroll all the way down. I'm going to drag it to around about here, maybe even a little bit further. There we go. Uh, and I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm going to take the edge off. Uh, I'm going to choose a color that I'd like to use. I think I'll go for a kind of beigey colored one. And again, I'm going to send it behind. So I click order and send it backwards. And right here in this bottom section, I'm going to add that shape. There we go. I'm going to add, um, there we go, where is it, there it is. I'm going to create similar sort of shape to what we've got going on there. We're going to go here. We're going to make sure that those are back to normal. And then I'm going to start to stretch this so that it covers the whole of the bottom there. There we go. That needs to come down a little bit and then we can go up and that will help us. Now we've got that shape fitting in there. We can fill that shape again with that same green if we'd like, and send that to the back as well. Order, and send backward, and again, order, and send it backward, and again, or we can send it right to the back, and it does that. So we've got our kind of basic um, shape. We might want to put in something like stars at the top here. Um, so we can use our call outs for this and we can pick up maybe for example a yellow uh, a star So we create our star Again, we might turn the, the border off And we might choose um, You know a, that golden color again for our star We might center it a little bit we could format it to Give it a bit of a drop shadow just so it's a little bit more three-dimensional So we could do something like this with it so we get a little bit of a shadow on it and then we could copy that and put maybe 
another couple in there. And we can use the red lines to help us line it up. There we go. So that kind of mirrors the other side there. There we go. Let's just get that in line. There we go. Yeah. There we go. So we've got our three stars in there. And down the bottom here, I might put in a text box. Um, so I might, this might be my, for example, digital um, superstar badge, for want of a better word. Okay. Then I can play around with the text on this. I can choose a different font. So I'm going to go with Roboto. I'm going to make it bold and I can increase the size of it. So I might go up to sort of the font size 30. I can then play around with that. I can change the color of the text if I wanted to. So I might make it that beige that we've got for the, the background there. Ooh, wrong one. The text color, sorry. Make it that beige. I might put a drop shadow on that as well, like we've done for the star. Just do that so it pops out a little bit more. And then finally, I want an image to go in there. So I would do a, a search for, uh, I'm looking for a logo of, let's say, for example, digital citizen. Now I'll go to Google search. The first thing I'm gonna do is go to images. But then I'm also gonna go to tools and I'm gonna to come to color and I'm gonna select transparent. And what it does is it gives me all of these kind of icons, okay? Now, these might not have anything I particularly want to use. So I'm gonna change this now to um, clip art. Let's see if there's anything that's more appropriate. Uh, and ideally I'm looking something that's sort of black and white with a transparent background. So there's nothing really obvious there. So we might have to play around with our um, ideas a little bit and say, okay, I'm gonna have a laptop then. And we've got an option like this and we wouldn't want product placement. So maybe something like these, okay? We could look at those. Uh, it's not a, a transparent. So we want a transparent PNG, ideally. Um, so if we can't find one that we want, say for example, we really like this one. That one looks like it's okay. We can drag it into our drawing. And there it is, that one is transparent. If you can't do that, you can't find one that you particularly want to use, you could use something like remove.bg to create a version without. Um, so I'll just show you that quickly. If we go to remove.bg, we can choose another image that we want to use that isn't a transparent background, for example. Uh, maybe that one. We can save that image. Uh, we just want to save those images for a minute, and then I can import it into here. Uh, let's make it here. Images and remove.bg will do its best possible job at creating a version for you that's got no background, and then you can copy and paste that over. So if I just do that quickly, just copy and paste, you can see it's removed that. But I'm just going to park that off screen because that's not important at the moment. Okay, so I've got my digital badge. I can give it a title. I might call this digital superstar badge. And then I can download as a PNG image. And what that does is it gives me, when it opens, there we go, that digital badge, which I can then use. So that's the first stage. I've now created my badge. And let's come out of here, close these. The next stage is to use Google Keep to be able to harvest or, or store your badges. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up Google Keep, and I've got it here, um, and I'm gonna pop it out in a big window. And you can see I've already got some other badges in here that I've made previously, okay? So I've got like a pet cameo from me, an ace communicator, problem solver, imaginative learner, thinking along the lines of the four C's. And to add your badges into here, all you need to do, where it says take a note, choose note with an image, Go to your downloads, bring in your digital superstar badge, and it uploads into Google Keep for you. Okay? And you can give it a title if you want. 
or you can just save it as it is because it's visual and just close. And that's going to sit now in Keep. So if I close that, and uh, you can see it's here in my Keep note bar. But on the side here, there it is. There's my digital superstar. So what I can now do is I can go into Google Classroom and look at a student's work. So say, for example, this was one where students have worked particularly well. What I can do is I can pop this window out and open it in a new window if I want to. So I can give them their normal feedback. But now I'm in a new window. I can scroll, if I want to, to the bottom of their work. Just enter a click. There we go. I can open up my Google Keep. And I can drag my digital superstar badge over into here. So it opens really big. And then you can just resize it however you want to. So for the, that particular student, you could just say, do you know what? That was a fantastic piece of work. Um, you've been doing really, really well. And here's your digital superstar badge. And the students are aware they've never achieved it. So that's one way you can do it. You can do the same with slides as well. You can add that in. And just like we did um, earlier on, as we did with drawings, you can have it off the canvas. So it's not sitting on their actual work, but it is there for them to see that you're pleased with the work they've done. And they're your digital superstar. Okay. So that's one of the ways we can marry together drawings and keep and then docs and slides to, to award badges for online learning um, very simply and at no cost. Okay, give it a try.